the batteries that power almost all of your electronic devices can pose a risk of overheating and catching fire. Today, Florida state lawmakers work to get results on this issue. New legislation that would set new rules on safely storing lithium-ion batteries cleared their final hurdles today. This would fix an issue that was exposed by News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval. He's in Tallahassee with what today's vote means for you and your family. Eric? Yeah, but, uh Matt, it was a really big day for efforts to uh, save people's homes and property from these lithium-ion battery fires. That bill that would basically craft new rules for safely storing these batteries passed their last House and their last Senate committees. In fact, we were in the room. We have some video of that last vote that happened within the last 20 minutes. The Senate Committee on Fiscal Policy just approving this bill, moving it onto the full Senate floor. A House committee did the same thing earlier this morning. Now here's how these bills are going to get results. Structure fire, emergency. The bills were introduced after a new six investigation last fall. It scares the daylights out of me. That's when State Fire Marshal's Office Director Joanne Rice revealed to us that there are no state codes or standards for safely storing lithium ion batteries. It is a fire that burns hotter and faster than any fire we've ever seen. And we don't have the tools. We've seen what these batteries are capable of. An overheated battery caught this house in Brevard County on fire, leaving a man badly burned. Yeah, we had the e-bike battery plugged in in the room and there was an explosion, we cut back and there it was, the side of the bed was on fire. Cody stomped on the fire, burned his feet all up. The House and Senate bills would allow the Florida State Fire Marshal to act outside the national rule book for fire marshals across the country. It would allow them to create a safety checklist for storing and charging devices with lithium ion batteries, making them the final authority. So here's what happens next. Uh, the uh, full Senate, the full House will have their votes. And if the governor signs it, it will eventually be up to the state fire marshal's office to craft those new rules for safely storing these devices. They have warned, though, that could take months. But of course, we're going to be watching the entire process. We are live outside the state capitol here in Tallahassee. Eric Sandoval getting results. News 6. Back to you. All right, Eric. Thank you. We